<laughs> Lovely. Okay, Crypto Danny, Danny here, but also Michael here. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> so Michael was mining Bitcoin. Uh, Michael set up my Bitcoin mining rig and uh, was good enough today to come and chat to us a little bit about, about Bitcoin mining and uh, share a bit of information. So uh, I suppose, uh, welcome Michael. Hi. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and how you ended up mining Bitcoin? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, so I run, I run an um, IT outsourcing agency. So I work in IT industry. And I, I've been, this um, crypto has been fascinating to me like for years, but I kind of never dared to start it. But then when Bitcoin went up to 60,000, then I was like, maybe it's time. We all got interested then. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I hope it's not too late, but maybe I, I should try something. So and then I was thinking and I was calculating, like, should I just buy it or what should I do? Buy Bitcoin or buy the hard yes, mining yes, hardware. Buy, and when I calculated, I, I, I was like, it's, it's kind of, for me, it was safer to, to just buy equipment and start mining. Sure. Because, for example, uh, I was scared, like, if something happens to Bitcoin, at worst case, I could at least like, sell the hardware. And also... Uh, with with mining, you could make like five, ten times what you would make with just buying bitcoins. Yeah, we were chatting about that. That you know, because I was putting it to you, what if you just bought bitcoin? But you're sort of saying the point that the the the, the miner is going to work for three to five, maybe even longer oh, yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to get that constant yeah, satoshis absolutely. put in your yeah, account sure. every year, as opposed to just one purchase of just instead of buying the mining, um, instead of buying the miner for. Let's say if you're buying a mining rig for a thousand quid, if you just bought the Bitcoin for a thousand quid versus if you buy the miner for a thousand quid and it returns on investment for three to five years, ultimately you end up with more Satoshis. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, I, I started uh, mining in uh, like what early April, I think. And now it's like August. Uh, if I, and I'm holding the Bitcoin, whatever I'm mining, if I would sell today, I would get maybe 70, 80% already of my investment. Sure. So in about two, three months, I would get my investment and I still get to have the hardware. Yeah, that's savage. Um, yeah, no, that's unreal. Like, that's where are you going to get return on investment like that? Yeah, yeah, sure. Talk to me a little bit about um, setting up the miner. Like, is it yeah. difficult? Well, I suppose, full disclosure, <laughs> it was more difficult than I could do because Michael done it for me. No, it's not difficult at all. Not difficult all. for you with your computer business yeah, expertise. I mean, it depends for like if somebody has no knowledge of like some some because some people can't even operate Windows like they. But yeah, for them it would be a little hard. Sure. But it's pretty it, it's pretty easy. Like if you want, you can Google or, or or we could help you. We can help. Yeah. We can um, indeed. Tell me this now. Um, well, I suppose. I have a question here saying, is there much maintenance? I'll answer that <laughs> and then you can answer it. Because uh, what I found is once you set it up for me, it was fine. Once the connection dropped uh, and it stopped mining, but you showed me how to, you know, reconnect it and reboot it. And you ha I have the app on my phone, so it's easy and I can just check it. Every day I check and I see my payments coming in. But uh, so as far as I could see, there doesn't seem to be much maintenance with, with, with running the Bitcoin mining rig. Uh, but but, but from, from your knowledge, I suppose, is there much maintenance and what do we need to do with them? No, not at all. Like you, you, you will have an app on your phone. You could just, if, even if you are not home, you have, you can have it 24 seven on. Uh, you can check from your phone or turn it off or on if you want it to, if it, you can see like the temperature, but it mainly doesn't overheat. Uh, so yeah, it's just, it's mostly it's like maybe one, two times to ch check, check on it with, it with your phone. That, that's all. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, as far as I can see, it's very straightforward. Um, I have, uh, I sort of gave the example that uh, there's a storage heater over here. And um, what a storage heater does is it, it burns electricity and it creates heat. But what a Bitcoin miner does is it burns electricity and it creates heat, but also creates money. <laughs> so I think it's yeah. a no-brainer. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> because I have it at home, my home office, and the room is warm. So my plan is to, you know, Rather than that storage here being on in the winter, we'll bring the Bitcoin miner up here. Yeah, you could, yeah, you could warm up. Yeah, <laughs> no, warm you're up, going to burn electricity anyway. Um, in terms of startup costs, like costs, uh, it's around, we'll say, somewhere between 10 
and 12 months maybe to get 100% return so you get return on your investment in, in that time. But what, what are the basics, like if someone want, wants to come in at an entry level Bitcoin miner, what sort of investment are they looking at? Uh, so if they if somebody does not have a PC, if we need to like buy the whole thing, it would be approximately, I would say, 1,400. Sure. Uh, if somebody has a PC already, but it has to be a big PC, not like small factor, uh, so the um, graphics card would fit in, um, it would, could cost like maybe 500. So we will have to check the PC first if the graphics card will fit in, and it would cost them about 500 or so. It's a no-brainer, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it be, it be, so in that case, they would get that 500 in much less time. Yeah, okay, maybe yeah. Maybe four months. Right, yeah, six, yeah. Six months. So I didn't have a PC, so I had to buy. Yeah, so, yeah. Very good. Um, and then, so I suppose we tell people a little bit about what we're doing with this. Um, we set up a service where if people are a bit like me and you're not technically, uh, you're not into the tech or you don't understand it as well and you'd like someone just to set up the Bitcoin miner for you, get it working, test it and they uh, pretty much deliver it like work in working order and hand it over to you, have it working in your premises. Um, that is a service that we're providing, or should I say you're providing? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we, can, we can set up anything, but it depends on your budget, depends how much you would like to invest or maybe test first and then sure, upgrade. Yeah. We could do that too. And so the entry level is, yeah. you know, somewhere to tell, depending on if you have a computer, yes. to having no hardware like mine. Mine was around 1500 quid, I think, all in. Um, that's sort of the budget that people are looking at. Yes. Can you use these computers for anything else? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, you can use it for anything else. That's and what as, I you, as you use your like, PC and PC, it, it will be like Windows operating system, it, and this mining software will be just running there, and you can use for anything else. Yeah, well, that's what I was surprised by. I was like, okay, so I have I have a computer that I can use, but it's also making me money yeah, yeah, on the side. Right. Um, in terms of maybe, because I didn't touch on it, the electricity costs. Are they, do these things burn a heap of electricity? Uh, no, it doesn't really... Uh, use much electricity because like approximately each G like graphics card would use about 80 90 watts which is about uh two about two kilowatt per day so two kilowatt per day is about 20 cents is it if we ca calculate it depends on the rate yeah some people have different rates like 20 cents per kilo it will be like 40 cents and with this two kilowatt, it would make about what, three euro. Yeah, so massive return on investment. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Plus electricity. Yeah, no, it's awesome. I found it really interesting. I think I every time I walk by my miner in my house and I just see the lights spinning, like I do, I just like I think it's awesome. And one thing that I say is uh, to people, it's like fair enough. I might be only mining three quid a day, three fifty today. But in a decade, maybe I was mining 35 quid a day. Or in a decade, maybe I was mining, if we go hyper Bitcoinization, I could be mining 350 quid a day. Who knows? Or like 3,000. Yeah. <laughs> in the yeah, bullish case. Could, yeah, yeah, it could be. Yeah, definitely. In, no, definitely like in a decade or two. Like that's why I see it as being, even if this thing breaks even, it's a no-brainer to run it like, and you know, because it's, uh, you know, as crypto investors, we're looking at the long term as opposed to the, to the short term. Uh, so if anyone who is checking this out is interested about um, maybe getting their own setup with a Bitcoin miner, they can just email crypto at any, hello, crypto at any, dot e. We'll put them in contact with yourself. You can see the setup they have, the setup they need, yeah. and, and then just quote them on what it's going to cost them to get set up. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, guys. Thank you very much, for uh, Michael, for coming in today. It's Team Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for Michael coming in today. Give us a little bit of info on uh, the Bitcoin mining. Don't forget to hit the like button and uh, if you are interested in possibly getting your own little home mining setup uh, done, shoot us a message. Shoot us a message into our Facebook page or shoot us a message into our email uh, hello at cryptoathini.ie. So I will say uh, Dini out and uh, Michael might say Michael out. Michael out. <laughs>